Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at a red green combo deck titled Epic Kitty, as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring the Storm Herald plus Calcification combo with a few new additions. Storm Herald, a 3 mana 3 2 with haste, that when it enters a battlefield returns any number of aura cards from our graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures we control, and then we have to exile those auras at the beginning of the next end step. So Storm Herald can temporarily reanimate some of our auras, and the best one to get back is Calcification, a 7 mana enchantment aura that gives the enchanted creature plus 20 plus 20. But the big drawback is that when Calcification enters a battlefield, we have to tap the enchanted creature. So if we bring back Calcification with our Storm Herald, Storm Herald will become tapped, so we won't be able to attack with it before the Calcification gets exiled at the end of our turn. So the simplest way to get around this is by untapping our Storm Herald for 1 mana using Claim the Firstborn, which gains control of target creature with mana value 3 or less until end of turn. We untap that creature and it also gains haste until end of turn. So usually you would use Claim the Firstborn to steal an opposing creature. In this case we're simply going to use it to untap our Storm Herald after bringing back Calcification. And then another way we can potentially make use of Storm Herald, even if it's tapped, is by sacrificing it to Fling, which as an additional cost sacrifices a creature and then deals damage equal to the sacrificed creature's power to any target. So this way we can potentially one-hit KO the opponent. And then another enchantment we can potentially bring back, especially useful if the opponent has some blockers out that could get in front of our Storm Herald, even if it's very large, is Epic Proportions, one of the cards included in the free starter decks, and you can craft additional copies using wild cards, giving the enchanted creature plus 5 plus 5 and Trample. If you don't feel like wasting any rare wild cards on this, you could also include Angelic Reward, an uncommon card from the starter decks, giving the enchanted creature plus 3 plus 3 and Flying, which can also get past the most blockers if they don't fly, or you could include some cheaper enchantments that give Trample, like Rune of Might that also draws a card. Also important if you want to play this in best of three, where these arena-only cards aren't legal, like the epic proportions. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck, of course we want a lot of ways to discard cards, so we can put Calcification and Epic Proportions in our graveyard to then bring back with our Storm Herald. So we've got the full playset of Cathartic Reunion, which as an additional cost makes us discard two cards to draw three, Full playset of Thrill of Possibility, which discards one to draw two at instant speed. And then we've got Seize the Spoils, which also discards one and draws two, and generates a treasure token, which can give us a bit of a mana boost. And then to give us a bit of interaction, we've got the full playset of Frostbite alongside 22 Snow Covered Mountains, dealing two damage to a creature or planeswalker at instant speed, but if we control three or more snow permanents, we deal three damage instead. And then tying the deck together nicely is Fervent Mastery, a 5 mana sorcery from Strixhaven that lets us search our library for up to 3 cards, put them into our hand, shuffle, and then we discard 3 cards at random. So Fervent Mastery has quite a bit of variance to it, but the idea is that it can help us find Calcification and Epic Proportions, and then we've got a chance of potentially discarding them to put them in our graveyard for Storm Herald. And if we don't have Storm Herald yet, we can potentially search up multiple copies of Storm Herald with the hopes that we don't discard all of them, and then can cast one getting back or enchantments from the graveyard. And then we can also cast Fervent Mastery for 2 and double red rather than pay the 5 mana, and if we do, then the opponent gets to discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards as well. Now we could also potentially play Kazul's Fury in the mana base, although getting to cast a 3 mana Kazul's Fury alongside Storm Herald starts getting a bit expensive, so I think I'm better off just playing more copies of Fling at that point, and then keeping the 22 Snow Covered Mountains for a nice smooth mana base that works well with our Frostbite. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw, our hand strangely doesn't have any discard effects. And without those, our hand doesn't really function. Do have some interaction with Frostbite and a Storm Herald. So it's a definitely close call here. On the draw, we're pretty likely to find some discard draw effects by the time we want to set up our combo, so I think we'll try it. Opponent Black Red, Elder Fang Disciple. Well, that's a discard outlet. Seize the spoils will also come in handy. Acquisitions experts. 
can look at two lanes. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna need Frostbite. Although maybe they have Rankle we can kill. Ooh, Fervent Mastery is exciting. I think we do discard Frostbite. So... I can keep my treasure for later. So next turn I can Mastery. And we've got some interesting decisions ahead of us. So I don't have classification yet, so that's definitely key. And then I still need a way to actually kill the opponent, either claim or fling. Another disciple can never land. So I think I will mastery for four mana. And then there's always a chance I can mastery again. Question is, do I need to get a backup Storm Herald or not? Our opponent can discard any number of cards they want. So yeah, I think we're gonna get one backup Storm Herald and then at least one Calcification and then probably a Fling. So Storm Heralds, Calcification, Fling. All right, that was pretty good. So if they don't mess with my hands, we have the kill next turn. And claim the firstborn also would have done it, but fling it is. All right, sweet. On to the next one. We're on the play with a fine hand. Missing Storm Heralds and a way to win the game with it. But always nice to start out with classification that we can discard. Symmetry Sage might be worth killing. It's not as frightening as, let's say, the Leonin Lightscribe out of the Magecraft deck. So maybe we'll let that one slide. And then I can thrill discarding classification end of turn. There's a Clarion Spirit, could also be worth killing. So how about a Seize the Spoils discarding? Maybe a Cathartic Reunion? Alright, there are Storm Heralds, so... Just missing a Fling and or... Claim the Firstborn. Don't think I need to Frostbite the Clarion Spirit just yet. Opponent's deck shouldn't have much in the way of interaction, so we're mostly worried about them killing us or having a blocker back to stop Herald that is targeted by Claim the Firstborn. So the Spirit Tokens from Clarion Spirits can be annoying if our game plan is claim since we don't have a trample enchantment yet. But keeping the treasure token could be valuable. Back up Storm Herald. So we have a few options. I could also Fervent Mastery for 4 mana, looking for epic proportions and claim the Firstborn, which is going to be cheaper than trying to fling and then with epic proportions in the graveyards we can trample over for enough damage so i don't mind a four mana mastery here and then we still have frostbite available just in case but most likely keeping up a protection spell like find us one so frostbite unlikely to really kill anything but if our opponent goes for a big turn with maybe a Leonian Lightscribe, we can kill it in response to the Magecraft trigger, depending on how much mana they have left up. 
So definitely gonna need epic proportions. Claim. And then do I just get a second epic proportions? Yeah, I think so. All right, that did not go according to plan. Did not discard a single proportions and we lost our claim. So next turn I can reunion discarding double proportions in the hopes of finding land plus claim. And then we might still be able to combo off if we're not dead here. Expanded anatomy is the lesson they got. We also lost our frostbite, so we don't have any interaction left up. All right, just an anatomy, so we're not that on board. And there is a sequence that can win us the game here. But we're going to need to find Claim the Firstborn, or yeah, Fling doesn't do it since we don't have enough mana. So yeah, it's a Reunion, three draws towards Claim to win the game. And we got there. Sweet. And I thank you for 33. All right, sweet. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a decent hand, assuming we can find some discard draw effects. Bit of interaction with Frostbite. So our best draw would be Cathartic Reunion. Although a thrill of possibility, also decent. Well, I ask and you shall receive. So now we're missing Fling or Claim the Firstborn. And it doesn't seem like a matchup where I'm gonna need Frostbite since the opponent hasn't played any creatures yet. Alright, next turn I can Mastery and go looking for Fling and or Claim the Firstborn. Opponent seems like a black control deck, so Claim might not be good enough. So I might need to get Fling instead. And then I can get double Fling in case we discard one of them. And then maybe just get a land since I still need land 5 to go Storm Herald plus Fling. And then hope to just discard Calcification. Opponent in the meantime discarding Priest and Foreboding Fruit, so seems like a black control deck. So, fling, fling, and yeah, I think just a land. Could also get an extra discard draw effect since the opponent's not really killing us anytime soon. So maybe a cathartic reunion to discard calcifications, fine. Alright, so a land could give us lethal, assuming the opponent taps out. Keeps up two mana for maybe a Heartless Act, but we do have a backup Storm Herald, so if they kill the first Storm Herald in response to the trigger, we're still fine since we can try again next turn. If they have a second Heartless Act, then things get more complicated. So we'll see if they kill Herald in response or wait for the trigger to resolve. No, Heartless Act right now. And then we'll leave our enchantments in the graveyard. So 
so we didn't lose any of our enchantments. And we get to try again next turn with our heralds. And hopefully this time our opponent's tapped out. If they have more copies of Heartless Act, then things will get a bit more complicated. Opponent goes for Elspeth's Nightmare, hoping to eventually exile our graveyard. And now it's go time. For single black, outside of, I guess, a Lash of Malice. We should be safe. And I think we have enough damage here. But let me just make sure. And yeah, Ponan did the math for us and confirms that they're dead. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Still missing our classification. But we've got everything else. Opponent to red white. And some sort of equipment deck. Alright, Fervent Mastery could come in handy. So turn three Caesar spoils discarding proportions. Also Lith is fine. And then next turn we'll Fervent Mastery. And then probably get at least one Calls Vacation, maybe two Storm Heralds to play it safe. Also, there is the risk that we also discard our Fling, so maybe I should get. Another fling, since her opponent doesn't seem to be pressuring us too much, so I would rather get an extra fling than claim the firstborn. And then we'll cast it for four mana to keep our treasure. So yeah, Calsification, Storm Herald, Fling I think is reasonable. Since we have more ways of discarding Calsification, we're not under a ton of pressure to necessarily combo off next turn, so we can afford to Take another turn to discard it manually if we don't discard it randomly. And then I'll have both a backup Storm Herald and a backup Fling. So that seems good. Alright, perfect. We discarded Calsification, still have Storm Herald and one Fling. So now if the opponent kills Storm Herald in response to the trigger, I have a backup and we'll still have the Calsification in the graveyard. And if they let the trigger resolve, we can fling, and they won't really be able to stop it. So yeah, it's go time. So we'll see if they have instant speed removal here. They do. Alright, we'll just have to wait another turn. I guess I can seize the spoils discarding mountain. And then try again next turn. So did your opponent discard anything earlier to the Fervent Mastery? They did not. So they are happy with their hand. There's an Ember Cleave, opponent's now tapped out. So, yeah, it's combo time. And claim the firstborn is going to be a more stylish win, so we'll go with that one. Play Storm Heralds. Get all the enchantments. And then claim. Hit for 33. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a great hand. A reunion discarding 
calcification and epic proportions. And then we're just to uh, claim the firstborn away from killing on turn four. Turn one Lumamancer, put on the green white Magecraft deck, turn to Elite. So they've got a scary start as well. But they shouldn't have much removal. And Fling should let us kill on turn 4, thanks to the treasure token from Seize the Spoils. Alright, Pono's going off here. Defiant Strike into Guiding Voice gets Academic Probation. And Academic Probation, if they know what they're playing against, could also disrupt our combo. We do have claim, so we do have lethal next turn. Question is, does our opponent name the correct creature? Alternatively, I could claim the firstborn, steal the elites, and then fling, although that doesn't work if they have snakeskin veil. And then I would have wasted my combo pieces, so wouldn't be able to necessarily win next turn. So I think my best bet is seize the spoils and hope that they don't know what they're up against. And we get to kill them next turn. So they do have 4 mana. Sadly then draw into Frostbite to interact. Opponent attacks. And there's a Snakeskin Veil that would have protected from Claim the Firstborn. So that's 9 damage, and another Snakeskin Veil is lethal. Alright, so yeah, we would have had a turn 4 kill, but our opponent on the play has their own turn 4 kill here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a very nice hand, potentially. Reunion discarding proportions and classification on turn 2. And then we're just missing a Claim the Firstborn, maybe, to combo off on turn 4. Fling will do it on turn 5. So just need to hit our land drops. Our opponent red-white, and there's a claimed firstborn off the top. So, yeah, if they tap out for a creature, then we'll most likely kill them. Opponent keeps up 3 mana. Not what we wanted to see. So what could they be holding? Some sort of Just Guy control deck? Yeah, I think we wait for Fling, since I don't think Claim is necessarily going to work. And I don't want to Mastery, since my hand's good. Smashing success, I see. Alright, well. Now we can probably get them with uh, Claim the Firstborn. So not sure what the point was up to, but... All I know is that they're taking 28. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand seems decent, but is actually missing a few too many combo pieces, I think. Don't have any enchantments to discard, and don't have Storm Herald yet. Take a mulligan, this is better. And do I get rid of a land? I think so. Could also get rid of maybe a Thrill. But Thrill is pretty likely to draw us into more lands, and then I can curve out a bit better. A big proportion is a good draw, so we can thrill classification and then seize the spoils. Epic proportions. And if we haven't drawn into Storm Herald yet, we can maybe look one up with a Fervent Mastery. Turn to Youthful Valkyrie. So I can thrill end of turn. Another Valkyrie. So let's thrill here. Right, the land is good.
And there's Storm Heralds. Alright, so we're just missing Claim the Firstborn or Fling. And either one of those, top deck next turn, could win the game. So, probably worth it to cast Fervent Mastery for 4 mana. And then... We have the Trample Enchantments, so... Getting Claim the Firstborn might be good enough. So I can get double claim. And maybe a fling as backup, so we just have all three win conditions. And then hope we don't discard double storm heralds. Or I can get two win conditions and a single storm herald. So we're very unlikely to discard all of them. Hmm, I think I prefer getting three win conditions. So it gets two claims and a fling, so we can still adjust our game plan. Alright, perfect, and so we got to keep Storm Herald and all our win conditions. A Righteous Valkyrie. Pumps to Youthful Valkyries. And we're gonna have more than enough here. And I guess we'll claim the Valkyrie as well here, so our opponent doesn't have to assign blockers. Can spare them the mental gymnastics. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a very promising hand. We just need a way to discard Colossification. So we're hoping for a Cathartic Reunion on turn 2. Thrill of Possibility would also be excellent. And then we need to hit some land drops as well. We could always uh, claim the firstborn an opposing creature and then fling it. But that's usually a last resort. Opponent might be on a Death Touch tribal deck, so we might actually make that play we described. Red green, maybe a party synergy deck. Alright, we have seized the spoils. Still missing a third land, but if we draw another non land card, we can discard Colossification to hand size as well, so. Glass half full here. Alright, there's Cathartic Reunion. So, probably gonna wait another turn before we combo off. Unless your opponent somehow tapped out and doesn't have a blocker back, but that seems unlikely. But yeah, we could technically Storm Herald plus Claim. Porky Parrots, I see. If they keep the Porky Parrot on defense, I can't really kill it. And the Porky Parrot makes it so I can't combo off with my Storm Herald. Uh, since they're presumably going to kill it before the um, enchantments are put on it. But I guess I could try. If the opponent lets the enchantment go on the Storm Herald, I can still fling. But I probably can't assume that to be the case. Now the Porky Parrot has 4 converted mana costs, so I wouldn't be able to claim it. So I'm kind of just sitting here waiting. And I'm not sure what I'm waiting for. I guess double Frostbite to eventually kill Porky Parrot. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to go for the Storm Herald fling play since it's probably not going to work. So I guess we'll keep digging and try and find Frostbite. And I can seize the spoils. Discarding a mountain to keep digging. Opponent can ping me for one end of turn. If 
5 mana. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Opponent could have all sorts of instants available now. Inspiration or face. And gets introduction to prophecy. Can always hope they attack with Porky Parrot, but they don't. Still no sight of frostbites. I guess I can play double storm heralds and then uh, fling. So yeah, I guess that's the plan now. They'll only be able to kill one of them and I have double calcification, so... Put on tap sound for Boneyard Lurker. Okay. So I think it's go time. Storm Herald number one. And we'll see if our opponent actually kills it in response to the trigger to play around fling. If they don't, I'm gonna feel a bit silly since we could have won the game on turn four. Alright, Porky Parrot, that's fine. And then... Submit zero, play another one. And then I can either fling or claim. I guess fling is a safer bet here. But claim most likely would work as well. I guess if our opponents had a way to untap the Porky Parrot for a single green, like a Sudden Spinnerets or Stony Strength, we still could have been in trouble, but that seems unlikely. Alright, we managed to beat the Porky Parrot Death Machine. So yeah, our deck is very linear. Once our opponent knows what we're trying to accomplish, they're gonna have an easier time disrupting our game plan either with instant speed removal, graveyard hate, or hand disruption. So it's definitely a bit of a glass cannon deck that's unlikely to perform in a best of three setting, but you can steal some games in best of one and it's quite fun to do so. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.